not cleaned, clean. See how much just brighter this looks? Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Cork, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content that you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. This video was a really long time coming. A while, while back, I did a video where I rehabbed a vintage coach bag that was gross and moldy and not in very good shape. I rehabbed it to this beautiful backpack that I am very happy with and now still am able to use. Today I want to do sort of the same sort of rehab video or at least an upkeep video on this vintage Louis Vuitton bag. This is a Louis Vuitton Cabas Meso, so it is from the Cabas line and this is the Meso and it is the medium size. I also have a small Cabas tote and it comes in an alto too, the the Alto doesn't have a zipper. I really like the Cabas line because it is a beautiful tote bag and it has a zipper on top, which I really, really like. I like having zippers on my totes, which a lot of brands do not enjoy putting zippers on totes and I have a little bit of a problem with that, but I digress. And this bag has seen a bit of better day. There are some cracks in the fascetta and in the straps. The fascetta itself is very, very dry. You can hear that it shouldn't make that sound. The bottom is a little bit better. See how much better that sounds? Than this. This sounds too dry. The canvas needs to be cleaned, the zipper and the hardware needs to be shined up or at least cleaned up a little bit and it just needs a little bit of work, a little bit of TLC, so we're gonna do that together today. You can see here the hardware is very very tarnished and in not so great shape. It is the same on the other side here and the zipper also very very tarnished. There are, again, some cracks in the vachetta, especially on the base here. You can see these cracks. And the bags have this beautiful strip of vachetta on the bottom, but that's something that a lot of people were very scared of because obviously vachetta, stains, cracks, all that. The bottom of my bag is actually in pretty good shape, but we're going to try to keep that shape. We're not going to damage it in any way. We're going to clean the canvas. We're going to shine up the hardware and we're going to moisturize the heck out of the vachetta as it desperately needs it. The handles are in really good shape considering they're very floppy, they're very used, but they also are quite dry. In fact, let's see. Like, I don't know if you can hear that, but quite dry, but all together, there's a lot of life left in this bag. I'm gonna do my best to show you what I'm doing kind of from this angle, but I'll also be showing you like, this is the before and then I'll show you the after too. I'm going to now show you what I'm going to be using to make this bag a little bit brighter. So let's set this to the side. First of all, for all of the cleaning work, I have a lot of cotton, I have, these white cotton t-shirts that I use pretty much exclusively as a bag of cleaning supplies. You want cotton, it's a natural fiber. You want white so you don't get any dye on anything and it also absorbs dye and dirt and you can see the dirt. So I recommend just white cotton t-shirts. I got this like in a three pack at like Target or something anytime. Or you have like old white cotton shirts there you go, repurpose them. I have towels because I'm going to be putting this in my lap to work, so the towels colors don't really matter that much. They've been very, very well washed. These are rag towels anyway, so it doesn't super matter. I have some vinegar solution. This is going to be for the hardware shining up. You can also use Brasso, but I don't. This is one part white vinegar, two parts water. For the canvas, I have soap and water concoction. This is just a little bit of soap in some water. Uh, it's pretty diluted. You don't need a lot. So, you know, less is better. You can always reuse it again. You can put soap on it again. Like just less is better. Start with less. I have actual just regular water for wiping off the soap and not drinking from. And for applying this, and I'm going to be using the shirts to apply the soap and water mixture to the canvas. And then for the vinegar for the hardware, I just have a old toothbrush that has only ever been used for cleaning stuff that isn't teeth. <laughs> it's it's just, I use this for like my leather rehab and my, my metal work and stuff like that. So just an old toothbrush. And finally, for hydrating the Vachetta, I have my trusty leather conditioner. This is leather CPR. I got it from Amazon. I, you can get it anywhere, but I'll link it down below. Why do I use leather CPR? Well, leather CPR is a fairly natural leather. It is safe to use on skin. So I actually apply it with my fingers and it does not contain silicone. Silicone is the death of animal leathers because silicone traps in moisture, moisture deteriorates leather and silicone originally gives it like a nice slip soft feel. So it 
appears to be good for your leather. It is not. You do not want silicone in your leather conditioner. I think Coach Leather Conditioner has silicone. I would not recommend it under any circumstance, especially not for full leather bags, possibly for their current bags because they're a little bit more plasticky than they used to be, but that's neither here nor there. You can use beeswax. People for Chanel use mink oil. There, are, There's black rocks. There's a lot of different types of leather conditioner. Avoid silicone if you can at all help it. I like leather CPR. I've experimented with leather conditioners, but for Vachetta, especially for this amount of Vachetta, leather CPR works for me, so that is what I'm going to be using on the Vachetta. So now we're going to get into position and the order I'm going to be doing this is first I'm going to be hydrating and moisturizing the Vachetta, then I'm going to be cleaning the canvas, and then I'm going to be tarnished, working on the tarnished hardware. Why am I doing it in this order? Because you want the Vachetta to be moisturized first because the more moisturized it is and the more even and wet it already is, the less likely it's going to be stained from other work, like if a little bit of my soap water concoction gets in the Vachetta, but the Vachetta is already darkened from the hydration moisturizer, then it's not going to stain or it's much less likely to stain. So that's why I work in that order. You're also going to notice as I show you up closes of the bag that when I first put on the leather conditioner it's going to get very very dark basically like it's wet. That's okay it will dry. So this is what the Fichetta looks like to start. It is a fairly dark color but it's still I would say in the honey range. It's not overly dark. There is this part over here that's pretty dark but it doesn't bother me. This part as well is pretty dark. It doesn't bother me again. It looks sort of natural with the leather itself. What does bother me is the cracking. Now moisturizing a bag will not get rid of cracks, but it will help them keep from cracking more. The best thing you can do once you have a crack in a leather of a shadow piece is to seal it in some way. I'm not going to show you sealant right now, but that's something I could do in the future if you'd like me to. Right now I'm going to just moisturize it to stop the damage or halt the damage as best as I can. And with a piece of a shadow this big and the cracks at the location they are in, I'm not really super worried. I'd be more worried about like severe cracking on the handle. So first of all, here is my leather CPR. As I said, I'm going to be applying it with my fingers. I'm going to just be wiping off my fingers on the towel and I'm going to be fairly liberal with this. So let's start on the bottom and you're going to notice that the leather darkens pretty immediately. So you want to go in full broad strokes covering all of the Vachetta. You have a little bit spillover on the canvas, it's okay, but notice already how much darker that's gotten. You're gonna see it more on the bottom of the bag. So here's the bottom of the bag. Just smooth strokes and rub it in. And you see the difference here. This is the moisturized side and the unmoisturized side or the hydrated side and the unhydrated side. And we're going to continue on doing the entire part of this bag. And this leather, this fichetta is already so dry that it's soaking up the leather conditioner very, very fast. You can actually see how quickly it soaks it up. Like you see, it's darkened on this side, but already over here, it's starting to soak in. So that's just a sign that the leather needs it. You know, like that feels good. That's still pretty hard that's the hardest. So we want to really make sure that we're doing some good conditioning here. And let's do this side as well. Make sure that you get the corners and the sides. It's okay if there's a little bit spill off of the canvas. We're going to be wiping it off quickly enough that it's not going to matter so much. You want to make sure that you're covering every part of the leather so you're going to get a uniform soak in. Same thing, if you get a water spot on a piece of vachetta, the best thing you can do is take a damp cloth and run it over the entire part of the vachetta because that way you won't just get a single spot. It'll look much more uniform. So look how quickly that's soaked in. Look how quickly that's soaking in. This is the darkest so far because it's the most recent application of the conditioner, but this is, this is pretty pretty dry. So we got that part already started in condition. We'll probably do several steps of this, several layers. Now we're going to just do the handles. Remember the handles have the front and the back. So we're going to have to do both sides of the handles. We're going to start with this side and then do the other side and then work on the canvas. So starting here, just putting that leather conditioning on everything. And I want to also make sure I do it behind too and underneath that bottom here. This is really where you want to condition 
where the handle attaches or the, where it's is sewn together you really want to make sure that that is hydrated because that's where you're going to get the most cracking got now that it has been fully hydrated that's going to dry back to its natural state hydrated waiting for the leather to conditioner to soak in not hydrated and look you see how remember how it was darker when I first hydrated it conditioned it now it is fine again needed it that's for sure so I'm going to just do the other side and I'll be right back Okay, now that this has been hydrated, I'm going to just buff it really quick. See how much better that sounds already? I'm going to let the straps dry, and while the straps dry, I'm going to start on the canvas. All right, we're gonna do in sections. We've got the water mixture and we've got the regular water. I'm going to just clean and then wipe off. Clean and wipe off. Try to avoid the shitta if I can. show you the comparison of the canvas not cleaned clean you see how much just brighter this looks it just seems much shinier the part that hasn't been clean looks duller it looks so much nicer doesn't it, it looks so much cleaner the handles are pretty dry at this point and they also look nicer. There's still obviously the cracks, but they just generally are more supple. Again, these are some of the cracks that appear in too dry vachetta. You want to make sure that you keep your vachetta hydrated, all other hydrated, but I'm not too worried about these cracks. I'm not worried about breaking through right now. So I would be doing a treatment with that later. But yeah, you can see that like the surface of the leather is starting to peel off. Something I would just want to keep on top of. Bottom looks nice. It's not as dark as it looked when I first conditioned it. And now let's do some of the hardware. Toothbrush. Vinegar. And I'm going to take one of my shirts and I'm going to put it around the part that I'm going to be working on. So I'm not going to be dripping the vinegar onto the canvas, which doesn't super matter too much. Like canvas is okay with vinegar, but still. I might actually not use the toothbrush for this. I'm going to use the toothbrush for the zipper, but I'm not going to use it for the detail work. Get in 
impatient with the detail work. Don't rush it. Detail work is just that detail. Illustrate. So this is partially treated. You'll see that the right side has had the vinegar and the left side hasn't. Just see how the right side is much more shiny. Glints under the light. Left side is much duller. So that's what it does. Works good enough for me for right now. All right, zipper time. So this is one of the duller parts of the bag and also pretty grimy. Just as a reminder, this bag is from 2001, so it is over 20 years old. Not too bad, not too shabby for over 20 years old. Zipper before. Zipper after. Much shinier. There's a little LV. I'm also using the vinegar to disinfect the zipper pull, deodorize it a little bit, so that's part of why I'm getting it everywhere. go not too shabby it looks a lot less dingy now hi welcome back this is our fully cleaned rehydrated cabas meso i think it looks so much better now it is shiny the vachetta looks much more hydrated the canvas looks more supple and also shiny and the vachetta looks great on the bottom much better sounding all around. It also feels a lot cleaner. I'm really glad to have been able to clean it up because it feels so much better. It doesn't feel grimy, you know, like an old bag sometimes does. So there you go. This is my freshly clean kibas meso. I'm gonna keep up with moisturizing the vachetta so it doesn't continue to crack. I might seal the cracks that have already occurred. The zipper looks so much better. The zipper pull looks so much better and I am pretty pleased. What do you think about the overall process? Are you going to try to do something to your old Louis Vuitton bags now and give them a little bit of a second life or at least a cleanup? I'd love to know if you've got a project going on or even if this maybe inspired you or if you just enjoyed learning it. I would love to know. I hope that you enjoyed. If you like this video, please give it a like. It super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content that helps the algorithm even more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.